Hello everyone, hello my students. Today we will study the sign of the function. We will study sign of constant function, sign of linear function, sign of the quadratic function. So let's start. Sign of a function means what guys? Investigating the sign of a function means to determine the values of the variable x at which the values of the function f as follows. Number one guys, f of x it will be positive. Means what? Means f of x is greater than zero. Number two, negative means what f of x less than zero number three equal to zero means what f of x equals zero first guys how can we find the sine of the constant function the sine of the constant function is the same sine of the constant c f of x equals c it's represented by a line is parallel to x axis if c is positive so the line is up x axis now guys the function is positive for all x is an element of real numbers but if c is negative now it's represented by a better line to x axis and is below x axis now the function is negative for all x is an element of r let's have an example example determine the sign of each of the following functions number one guys f of x equals three it's represented by a better line to x axis and is up x axis why guys because the constant equals 3 it's positive now we can say that f of x is greater than 0 now we can deduce the sign of the function is positive for all x is an element of r number 2 f of x equals negative 2 it's represented by a line parallel to x and down x axis f of x is less than 0 we can say that the sign of the function is negative for all x is an element of r number 3 f of x equals negative 5 over 2 now it's represented by a line parallel to x axis the constant is negative we can say f of x is less than 0 now the sign of the function is negative for all x is an element of r second guys is a sign of linear function the linear function is written as f of x equals px plus c to determine the sign of the linear function follow the steps first step guys just put f of x equals 0 y to find the value of x now we can get px plus c equals equals zero it's an equation now we can deduce that x equals negative c over b the value of negative c over b is what guys is the root of the equation now guys we can represent the linear function with italic line like this to find the sign of the function at x equals negative c over b the value of the function it will be zero at the right greater than negative c over b x is greater than negative c over b the sign of the function it will be the same sign of the coefficient of x which is b guys if b is positive it will be positive if it's negative it will be negative but at the left x is less than negative c over b the sign of the function it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x let's have an example example determines the sign of each of the following functions number one f of x equals negative 2x minus 4 first step guys just put f of x equals 0 we can deduce that negative 2 x minus 4 equals 0 divide both sides by negative 2 we can say that x plus 2 equals 0 now move 2 to the other side to be subtracted we can get x equals negative 2 now we can find the sign of the function f of x at negative 2 f of x equals 0 at the right guys x is greater than negative 2 the sign of the function like the sign of the coefficient of x the sign of the coefficient of x pay attention is negative so the f of x or the function it will be negative but at the left x is less than negative 2 it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x the opposite sign of the coefficient it will be what yes positive so f of x it will be positive now we can say that f of x is greater than 0 positive if x is less than negative 2 and f of x it will be negative less than 0 if x is greater than negative 2 now f of x equals 0 at the value of the x which is negative 2 number 2 f of x equals x plus 3 at f of x equals 0 we can get that x equals negative 3 now at x equals negative 3 guys f of x equals what yes 0 at the right it will be 
x greater than negative 3 it will be the same sign of the coefficient of x the coefficient of x equals 1 it's positive now at the right of of x it will be positive but at the left x is less than negative 3 it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x which is 1 it will be negative now we can say that f of x is greater than 0 if x is greater than negative 3 and f of x is less than 0 means negative guys if f of x or f x is less than negative 2 finally f of x equals 0 at x equals negative 2 number 3 guys f of x equals half x minus 5 but f of x equals 0 we can deduce that half x minus 5 equals 0 now move negative 5 to the other side to be added we get half x equals 5 multiply both sides by 2 we can get x equals 10 now to find the sign of the function at x equals 10 f of x equals 0 at the right guys x is greater than 10 the sign of the function it will be the same sign of the, of the coefficient of x it will be positive but at the left x is less than is less than 10 the sign of the function it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x it will be negative now f of x is greater than 0 means positive when x is greater than 10 and f of x is less than 0 means negative f x is less than 10 f of x equals 0 at x equals 10 example draw each function then determine the sign of each function first guys f of x equals x plus 2 let x equals what the three values 1 0 negative 1 to find f of 1 just delete x and write 1 it will be 1 plus 2 equals 3 to find f of 0 guys just delete x and write 0 it will be 0 plus 2 equals 2 f of negative 1 it will be negative 1 plus 2 equals 1 now we can draw x axis and y axis and plot each ordered pair the first point it will be 1 comma 3 second 0 comma 2 third negative 1 comma 1 and draw line it's italic line or slant line now f of x is positive when x is greater than what guys do you note negative 2 at x equals negative 2 it will be 0 guys but f of x is negative when x is less than negative 2 second f of x equals 2 minus x by the same way x and f of x both the three values 1 0 negative 1 f of 1 it will be 2 minus 1 equals 1 f of 0 it will be 2 minus 0 equals 2 f of negative 1 it will be 2 minus negative 1 it will be 2 plus 1 equals 3 you can find it by your eye draw the line now the first point 1 comma 1 the second 0 comma 2 the third it will be negative 1 comma 3 now draw the line we can deduce that x equals 2 f of x equals 0 now we can say that f of x is negative when x is greater than 2 and f of x is positive when x is less than 2 it's clear and f of x equals 0 when x equals 2 so you can draw the function and deduce the sign of the function third guys is the sign of the quadratic function the quadratic function f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c to determine the sign of the quadratic function follow the steps we have three conditions by the way first find the value of the discriminant b squared minus 4ac we studied before the first condition b squared minus 4ac is less than 0 means what means it will be negative the sign of the function f is the same sign of the coefficient of x squared it's the rule it will be represented by the curve is opened up means what guys means the coefficient of x squared is greater than zero now we can deduce f of x is greater than zero means the function will be positive for all x is an element of r the second if a is less than zero means what the coefficient of x squared it will be negative now we can deduce that f of x is less than zero means what guys means f of x it will be negative let's have an example example determines the sign of each of the following 
functions number one guys f of x equals x squared plus 2x plus 5 first guys find a b and c a equals what 1 b equals 2 c equals 5 don't forget a is the coefficient of x squared b is a coefficient of x and c is absolute value now we can find the discriminant b squared minus 4 ec b squared it will be 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times the value of c which is 5 now we can get 4 2 squared means 4 minus 20 4 minus 20 equals what equals negative 16 it will be negative now now we can deduce that the discriminant b squared minus 4 ec is less than 0 now f of x is a sign of f of x it will be the same sign of the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x squared guys equals 1 it's positive now we can say that f of x is positive for all x is an element of r Number 2, f of x equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 6. First, guys, find the value of the discriminant. a equals negative 1, b equals 2, and c equals negative 6. Now, b squared minus 4ac equals what, guys? 2 squared minus 4 times the value of a, it will be negative 1, times the value of c, it will be negative 6. Now, 2 squared equals 4, guys. Minus, pay attention, 4 times negative 1, negative 4, times negative 6, guys, it it will be negative what it will be positive 24 times negative it will be what wise yes it will be negative 24 so it will be 4 minus 24 you can use calculator by the way 4 minus 24 it will be negative 20 it will be negative now b squared minus 4 ec is less than 0 we can say that f of x or the sign of f of x it will be the same sign of the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x squared equals what yes equals negative 1 a equals negative 1 it will be negative now f of x is negative for all x is an element of r second condition guys the discriminant b squared minus 4 ac equals 0 there are two equal roots of the equation we studied before let h of them equals l the sign of the function it will be the same sign of a f of x equals 0 when x equals 1 if you draw the curve it will be tangent to to x axis at x equals l if a is greater than 0 f of x it will be greater than 0 means positive for all x is not equal l which is the value of the root if a is less than 0 f of x it will be negative for all x doesn't equal l let's have an example for example guys determine the sign of each of the following functions the first f of x equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 9 now we can find the value of the discriminant a equals negative 1 b equals 6 and c equals negative 9 b squared minus 4 is c we studied before it will be 6 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times negative 9 6 squared it will be 36 minus 36 4 times 9 36 guys by the way it will be 0 now we can deduce that we have just one root to find this root guys both f of x equals 0 this is the second step we can deduce that negative x squared plus 6x minus 9 equals 0. Divide both sides by negative 1. We get x squared minus 6x plus 9 equals 0. This trinomial, guys, is perfect trinomial, guys. Perfect square trinomial. We can say that x minus 3 all squared equals 0. Now, we can deduce that x minus 3 equals 0. Now, x equals 3. Now, at x equals 3 of f x equals 0. We can say that the sign of the function Function, it will be the same sign of the coefficient of x squared the coefficient of x squared equals negative 1 so the sign of the function it will be negative but when x equals 3 guys f of x equals 0 we can write f of x is less than 0 means negative when x is not equal 3 that's mean that f of x is negative but f of x is equal 0 when x equals 3 number 2 f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 1 a equals 1 b equals negative 2 c equals 4 by the same way find the value of the discriminant b squared minus 4 ac it will be negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 1 times 1 it will be 4 minus 4 equals 0 now we have just one root or two roots are equal put f of x equals 0 to find the root we can get that x squared minus 2x plus 1 equals 0 perfect 
square trinomial we can say that x plus 1 equals 0 now x minus 1 equals what guys so it will be x minus 1 all squared equals 0 now x minus 1 equals 0 we can get x equals 1 now f of x equals 0 when x equals 1 we can say the function or the sign of the function it will be the same sign of x squared it will be positive but when x equals 1 f of x equals 0 we can say that f of x is greater than 0 when x is not equal 1 the value of the root number 3 guys b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0 it's very important if the discriminant is positive there are two different real roots of the equation we studied before step 2 guys put f of x equals 0 to find the two roots the two roots are l and m now we have two roots l and m at x equals l and m f of x equals 0 between the two roots guys f of x have the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared means the opposite sign of a a is what the coefficient of x squared but at the right the same sign of a the same sign of the coefficient of x squared at the left guys the same sign of a now let's have an example determine the sign of each of the following functions it will be clear f of x equals x squared minus 7x plus 12 a equals 1 b equals negative 7 and c equals 12 to find the value of the discriminant b squared minus 4ec equals what it will be negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times 12. Negative 7 squared means what guys? Means 49. So 49 minus 48, it will be 1. 1 is greater than 0, means positive. Now we have two roots are real different. But f of x equals 0, why guys? To find the two roots, we can get that x squared minus 7x plus 12 equals 0. By factorization guys, it will be x minus 3 times x minus 4 equals 0. The product is 12 and the sum it will be 7. So the two numbers are 3 and 4. Now we can deduce that x equals 3 and x equals 4, the two roots. At x equals 3 and x equals 4, f of x equals what guys? Yes, equals 0. Between them, the sign of the function, it will be the opposite sign of the coefficient of x squared. The coefficient of x squared equals what? Equals 1. So it will be positive. Now between the two roots, it will be negative. At the right, it will be the same, it will be positive. At the left, it will be positive. Now we can say that f of x is greater than 0, guys, means positive. When x is an element of r difference, the interval, guys, close the interval 3 and 4. Why close the interval? Because at x equals 3 and x equals 4, the f of x, it will be zero but f of x is less than zero when x is an element of guys the interval three comma four pay attention guys it's open the interval but f of x equals zero when x is an element of the set three and four we can write it as what guys f of x equals zero at x equals three or four if you like my video, subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching. See you soon, guys.